Gentleman makes three excellent suggestions, all of which I will take back and I will write to him about. Thank you. Mike so, and this will be welcomed by the police. We shall be calling for this for many years. And I, when I was the policeman, they were then the start of this, worrying about this. But most importantly, about our loved ones, when they go out, we are worried about them. My daughter is actually in Sydney, Australia, and lives there. And this is right there spiking as well as it is in this country. But there was an alarm bell when the minister spoke about testing. As the former police minister and roads minister, when I first introduced the concept of drug driving, it was, oh, this is very difficult, it's very technical, there's lots of different drugs. And then they talked about urine and how are you going to do it. The saliva test actually prosecutes most people that are drink driving and get stopped, a drug driving and they get stopped in this country. So the type of approval that the Home Office is looking for needs to be very open-minded. The industries will come forward with the technology. I should be told it's very expensive, tough. It will come down in price the more we use it. Well, I am very grateful to the, uh, my hon. Friend for his um, very wise observations. So I hope that he was able to infer from my statement that what currently exists is a urine test that the police can roll out, and they have made the point to me on more than one occasion that they are sometimes inhibited by the fact that even if they do the test, it's not within the window where the drug is still in the bloodstream, and therefore they don't get an accurate read. But the reason why the Home Office is funding these rapid drink testing kits, and this is still at an early stage of research, is precisely so that there is going to be, hopefully, uh, an ability to test the drink on site. So actually, if somebody reports those symptoms, the venue can do a very quick job of working out what might have happened using a kit that they may have, and, and you can develop the path to redress for that victim on the night itself. Matt Rodder. Uh, thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. And could I 